here at the UN Infrastructure Conference in London 2016. This year we've uh, announced sort of uh, great innovations to the press through various press releases, product news alerts and advancement insights. Um, one in particular I think we could talk about is reality modelling going mainstream. Sure. So the press release went out this week um, providing new features and functionality to the existing application of context capture. Right. Integration with uh, other applications that we have such as Bentley Descartes and Luminati. And then a really amazing uh, functionality within it for hybrid modelling potential for taking in laser scan data, uh, point cloud data and the f digital photograph data right. to really enhance the potential that we see with context capture. So, um, from your perspective, having talked a lot this week on reality modeling, uh, how significant is this for the industry? Oh, I think it's uh, hugely significant. So, from two different perspectives. So, the, the enhancements to context capture, like you said, the ability to use both photographs and point clouds as input to the reconstruction process is important because uh, they're complementary technologies. So with the advent of small unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, um, the ability to capture photographs from the air has become more accessible than ever before. And this allows you to have very wide and broad coverage very quickly and inexpensively. Um, but it might be lacking in some of the precision or detail that you want for certain assets. So it gives you the broad context, but not necessarily the detail, which you could get perhaps from a laser scanner. Uh, so you can use sort of the more expensive technique on a smaller, limited area to get greater precision and accuracy in that area. And then with, con with the new release of context capture, uh, you can take both uh, inputs, the point clouds and the photographs, and s fuse them into one lightweight uh, model that has both the precision where you need it and the broad coverage for that greater context. And so it sort of lends to more uh, updates that we have for the Open Roads Connect Edition, um, Open Roads Designer press release that we put out this week is pretty big news for, for Bentley and the uh, civil and Department of Transport um, infrastructure environment and firms that will be really interested in looking at the features and functionalities of that, so things like conceptual design, detailed design, right through to construction. That's right. And that all provides cost analysis, options, optioneering, based on um, what sort of concept you have and what, what's, how much does that cost to put a roadway here? Are there tweaks that you can make to improve the cost level of that? And then, of course, again, adding in the reality mesh that you, you talk about, or the enlivening of that, it's making it really 3D and interactive, but it has that engineering value. That right, and I think that's a very important point, Aiden, that the Open Roads family of products from Open Roads Concept Station through Open Roads Designer and then through construction, uh, it's important to remember that these aren't just pretty pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, even though they look really great and they're very realistic, they actually have real engineering value, and that engineering value is not lost as you move through the life cycle of the, of the asset from conceptual to detailed design through construction and ultimately into operations, of right. course. So I think with Open Roads Concept Station, the ability to use the reality context to quickly sketch in designs and get a cost estimate for your designs early on mm. in the process because that's when you have the most influence over the ultimate cost right. of the project. One topic that has come up a few times is deep learning. Mm the ability to, for machines, for advanced analytics, for business intelligence, for machines to talk to machines, for humans to interact with the machines, and for a, a sort of learning experience, I suppose, sure. you might call it, not necessarily just on the human side, yep. but machines learning from other machines. So uh, one thing might be sort of looking at hindsight, uh, insight, and then foresight sure. as a way of talking about learning. Right. Yeah, so the topic of machine learning is very interesting, you know, and it's an advanced topic, of course. We're applying machine learning in a couple of different ways. At Bentley, we have an applied research team, and we have uh, people who are experts in this kind of a thing. Uh, and they've looked at um, a few things. So with regards to reality modeling and reality context, Today, we're with Microsoft on a number of levels, and they are introducing new services all the time. 
and uh, we're looking forward to working with them to, to advance in that way. The other thing we're working on with regards to deep learning is looking for trends in the big data, mm -hmm. you know, the big data analytics. Algorithms and different types of uh, opportunities to take different sources of data. We see South Australia as a good example to take in information <coughs> from hydraulic models, take information from energy consumption, energy usage, uh, weather conditions. Exactly. Put that into an engine to predict and prescribe outcomes. Exactly. And, and another great example is in the rail industry. Mm. So we're looking, of course, we have one of the leading tools for linear asset decision support and uh, in AssetWise Connect Edition. Is interested in the AssetWise Connect Edition, we talk about a uh, connected data environment through all phases of the infrastructure lifecycle. Yeah. And with AssetWise Connect Edition, we have an acquisition through uh, Amulet. Yes. Uh, and that provides the opportunity for deep machine learning across all different types of infrastructure project asset types, um, different projects. So it's inbuilt now, right, into the AssetWise Connect Edition. It's a service, it's a capability set within the AssetWise Connect Edition, which is our operational analytics capabilities. And you're right, it's, uh, it's the opportunity for machine learning, but even maybe you'd call it more mundane types of things yeah. like linear regression and other types of regression analysis. Yeah, and so we hear a lot about um, digitization of technology and this falls right into that with um, you know the amount of sensors in the network, the amount of big data being created, but also just digitizing all aspects of uh, workflows or uh, infrastructure assets. And I can kind of see this, the first opportunity to really deliver on a smart city and if you combine that with the reality modeling potential, deep learning with reality modeling, going mainstream, perhaps you have this really uh, three-dimensional representation with really smart intelligent assets connected through a connected data environment um, for all different infrastructure professionals through that, that line of connected data. Exactly, and that, that's at the essence of information mobility, being able mm -hmm. to have that rich data that comes from design, as we spoke about, like through open roads, for example, but all the way through, through the construction into operations mm -hmm. in the context of reality across all different um, practitioners and disciplines, being able to share and, and use that information um, with, of course, the appropriate authentications and authorization rules and right, not everybody can see everything. So that's all built into the AssetWise Connect Edition, mm -hmm. the ability to share what you want to share, you know, and, and uh, have different roles and permissions based on that. Yeah. Um, but it does, I think, unlock the potential for a truly smart city or smart intelligent infrastructure in general. Yeah, fantastic. I suppose last thing would be uh, pretty significant news in the geospatial industry um, with a announcement of a, a sort of a partnership with Topcon. Yes. And integration with their magnet uh, enterprise, yep. enterprise and uh, project-wise Connect Edition. So um, how significant is this for the industry? I think it's truly significant. It's really transforming the way work is done and uh, it both improving, I think, ultimately improving the cost uh, and the, the end product, the quality of the end product. So that I can just explain a little bit about what we're doing there, but with Bentley's Open Roads technology, we're able to provide detailed models mm. to the Topcon uh, enterprise and then they can take these models basically as an output from our Bentley system into their machine control and guidance systems. Yeah. And then another part of that, back to the reality modeling topic, continuously survey the construction project as it's going on, yeah. giving visual representation and a temporal analysis of that's right. that project. Absolutely, and that's, that's also I think very important from a safety perspective. So when you're talking about road design or any civil works and you're moving massive amounts of earth, you have huge earth moving equipment on site. And it's dangerous to send surveyors and other personnel into those areas to make the measurements that they right. need to make. So you often have to slow things down and make sure people are safe, number one priority. But with the UAVs and things like that, we can capture the surface uh, in pictures from the air and then use the reality mesh technology to measure volumes and look at changes and progress across the site. So I think it's really, really an exciting, exciting time. Industry, it's, it's an amazing.